Last year, COVID-19 stripped away opportunities for our local teams to play a complete season and have summer tournaments to prepare for the upcoming year. As things slowly return to normal, summer ball is back and our high school girls basketball teams are fired up to be back in the gym today. Benton hosted a summer slam for numerous JV and varsity teams to come out and compete. Harrisburg up against Heron Bulldogs Riley Harrison gets the fun started knocking down a three pointer. Turns out Harrison is pretty good from the tray. There she does goes again and she does it again. Bulldogs though are a young team, but they know how to work the ball inside to veteran stream black who gets the bucket. Harrisburg pulls away 37 15 over Heron. Black spoke about the difference summer ball can make for a season. We had a short season, but once we got into season, you could kind of tell that not having summer ball affected us, but getting to come out here and play more games and get more practice in will be helpful for next season, definitely. We've had a lot of young people come up, and so it's like really hard to just get into things, but we've been teaching the younger kids and they've been working really hard, so we have people to come in and carry the game for us. And just being here together, even in between games, um, being able to sit with each other, you know, talk to each other, and, and just watch other teams play, just being like around each other, being a family, that's a big deal, and that's outside of X's and O's, and, and teams need that. Woodlawn taking on Gallatin County. Ryan Peterson with the steal, passes it up to Ella Bequette for the finish. And on the next play, Peterson says this one is mine. Drives to the hoop to put two more points on the board. Lady Hawks, Carly Foster is a threat from downtown, has time, and it is nothing but net. Sydney Bickett keeps the momentum rolling, gets the high arcing shot to drop. Gallatin County finishes strong, beating out Woodlawn 32-26. Head coach Matt Lauer says these summer games are extremely beneficial for his young team. Some kids have not played, you know, since their eighth grade year, and they didn't get much of a season there either. Um, and so, I mean, it's a it's a totally different ball game when you come up to the high school ranks and play against either JV or varsity. So it's very important for the young kids to get out here and be able to play. It's really important for us to play together. You know, last week we went to Albany and we went out to eat and rode the bus together and coming here. We all just love each other and we love hanging out with each other, so it really helps a lot. It's really important. I mean, we get to play together with all the freshmen that get to come up and they get to experience it all. Up next, Anna Jonesboro against West Frankfurt. Addison Denny off the pass, earns the and one. They've got a quick offense, great ball movement. Savannah Smith finishes it off. Redbirds Carson Thrash off the bounce pass inside the arc. Gets the shot to drop, earns the and one. And look at that cross country superstar Brody Denny uses her speed on the floor. Anna Jonesboro gets it done 26 21 over West Frankfurt. Head coach Matt Denny took a lot of positives away from the day. We played hard. Um, we had a few things we need to work on, which we talked about. But, you know, overall the effort was good. Um, the intensity was kind of there, especially for the first day. And Our hustle. We haven't been in the gym a lot lately. We have a little bit. We've all been getting out of other sports and injuries and just trying to get back in and just even if our shots are off or if we're not in the best shape, we're still trying and we're still just putting everything out there.